It was my birthday yesterday, by the way. What's wrong with people these days? I'm a finna swing over for a bounce. <laughs> Welcome back to Cowboy Confessions with my guest, Megan, or my co-host, Megan. Howdy. I'm trying a new slick back hairstyle today. Do you like it? Looks good. It does look good, doesn't it? Yeah. My t-shirt is wet because I did my washing for the first time in a month. I left it too late and it hasn't fully dried yet. You had no So clothes. I got it out about two hours out of the washing machine. So I'm very cold. There's nothing more uncomfortable than when you have wet jeans on. Oh, yeah. That does <laughs> suck. Yeah. And I've had to do that a couple of times. Rolling around the wet denim. Yeah, literally. That's the worst. So the show is called Cowboy Confessions, right? And we never confess anything. But today I have a confession to make. So my confession of the week is that my attention span is so bad that if a video on TikTok is longer than 30 seconds... That, that shit's on two times speed. Yeah, that YouTube, is podcasts as well. I've started watching them all on two times speed. That's really bad. I don't think we could ever go to the cinema ever again. <laughs> I can't watch anything in a normal on a normal pace. Meg and I go to the cinema to get a box of popcorn and two slushies, and then we go back home to watch YouTube. Yeah, we don't we even watch stay at the movie. I did watch Dune too, and even that was a, that was a huge stretch for me. Yeah, that's a long movie. It was a long movie. I don't know what happened in that movie. No, no. I have no idea. I know there was a big worm. Yeah, that's all I know. That's right. about it. Well, what's your confession of the week putting you on the spot? Um, I'm wearing a wet t-shirt. <laughs> have you seen Jojo Siwa's new red carpet look? Oh my god. She's going for that rock and roll. She's she's trying too much. No. She, it would be it would work better for her if she dressed like a meth addict. She looks she, like she's still too glam. That's what you said to she me. She looks well, like a crack too, addict to me right now. No, no, no. She's too glam. Glam crack addicts yeah. don't do, have ma no, makeup artists doing all their glam like that. Like you need to look like a crack addict. You need to look like Doja Cat when she wakes up in the morning. You know the what I mean? The thing is that she, her Jojo with a Bobo era was like maximalist, over the top, smiley, and her new era of calm is a what is B word? A B word. Um, is still maximalist, over the top, and enthusiastic. But it's just like angry version. Yeah, Urgh. I think she's trying to do her Miley Cyrus bangers. Also, like the whole kiss Urgh. thing, that's just been done before by she, she, kiss. She looks like a wrestler on the WWE. Oh my god, that is so she does. true. She does. She really does. She looks like she's about to get RKO'd by Randy Orton. In the ring. Oh my God. There is a Facebook group and I don't even care if I expose it because it is the most entertaining thing ever and I want to get everyone into it. And it's called Tea Time. Sounds spicy. On Facebook. It was like um Girls Advice or and you had Blokes Advice, I right? I remember Girls Advice, yeah. Girls Advice was a dark time on that Facebook. Was. Anyway, so I saw this post on Tea Time being like, have you seen the comments on the this ad on TikTok? They are crazy. I did a deep dive. I saw this video yesterday. Yeah, so this is the Sun Chill inflatable floaty. Yeah, and it's basically... Sounds like a fun time to me. It's like a... I don't even... How would you describe it? It's like a... a load of a inflatable floaty. fun time in a pool <laughs> in the water. Oh, also guess how much it costs. Forty nine ninety nine. No. How much? 999 Australian dollars. For that? For that. Okay, that's a bit So excessive. people in the comments are going crazy about that. The comments... The person behind the comment section, it, it must be like chat GBT or something because it is so funny. This person goes, that's super pricey. He was going to buy one, $100,000 AUD. That's $1,000 AUD, by the way. I'm sorry. $1,000 Australian. I will wait for Timu to copy LOL. And they just reply with LOL. LOL. Like, wouldn't you, if you own this thing wouldn't you just not respond honestly kind of a flex like lol don't even care do not take these into the surf you will drown they reply well put the sun chill is deaf not a surfboard i mean maybe they're like hey good point speaking facts i won't do that that's the sun chill in the fucking surf <laughs> <laughs> That's how they advertised it. <laughs> yeah, I guess there is a, there is waves behind. So it's 700 USD. So can I ask what makes it worth 700? Genuine question. This is such a fucking chat GBT response. Yes, dive deeper. Someone asked this exact question last night and we had a nice dialogue with comprehensive answers. <laughs> 
give me an answer without <laughs> actually answering the question. Just no answer to the question and is so chat GBT coded. That is, that is really funny. That much? I'm finna take a trampoline to the beach instead. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> finna take a trampoline to the beach. Sun Chill responds, when I'm done chilling, I'm a finna swing over for a bounce. Cool. Isn't that fucking chat GBT? <laughs> What does that even mean? I'm trying to decode that. I'm finna swing over for a bounce. Cool. Cool. Question. <laughs> when I'm done chilling, I'm a finna swing over for a bounce. Cool. cool. <laughs> ha ha ha. I love your responses. Sun chill. Just trying to keep things real with all these punks. Damn. Is that not chat GBT? <laughs> it's kind of dope though. Like, it's kind of funny. I want to I wanna reply to all my comments, comments like, like this. this. 700 is way too much money. Can literally just use a little pool to float in. Ch sun chill. You should definitely do that. Sounds great. <laughs> Sounds great. You should definitely not buy our product. <laughs> you should Sounds definitely great. do anything but buy our product. Here's a little game I like to play where I ask you guys to ask us questions and we'll respond to it. Yeah. Woohoo. All right. So let's see Did what people let yeah, let's see what people are asking us. Okay. We um So we got no fucking questions. Oh. Does anyone watch this fucking show? Am I just wasting my time? It was my birthday yesterday, by the way. Ooh. So I went out. We went out for dinner last Happy night. Happy birthday! Mm -hmm. So we went out for dinner last night, right? You know, had some Greek dinner. It was nice. And wait, you know, insert the photos of at your birthday. No, I didn't. Up I didn't. I didn't get them. I didn't ask for the photos. They're <laughs> fucking dead to me. I'm never. I'm never seen. You know, at a restaurant when they force you to take photos because it's your birthday in front of their like sign and hold up something. I hope they never <laughs> see the light of day. Anyways, after dinner, it was a nice Greek dinner. We're driving home. Someone starts flashing their headlights at me, and I'm like. Ah, what is this little fucker one? Yeah. What is, what is this fucker? What what's, this what's, guy one? What's wrong with people these days? What what, what am I doing wrong? I'm like, mm. I'm like fucking him. Like when he pulls up next to us, I'm gonna fucking like give him the finger. Like fuck <laughs> off, like fuck you. Anyways, he pulls up next to us. I'm like, here we go, here we go, Meg, Meg, <laughs> Meg one's down the window. I'm about to go go in. He's the nicest looking guy. He goes, hey man, um, your headlights aren't on. Immediate regret. Well, now I feel like shit. Don't I? Yeah. Well, now I feel like a shitty person. Because you are. Forgot to turn my headlights on. I would never do that. No. I am going to admit to it. I would never do that. I would never do that either. Some people would. I think I would watch someone crash and feel better about that than building up the confidence to tell someone that something's wrong with that car. At least you can admit to I guess it. I'm honest. Maybe that's I'm the nice guy too. Maybe maybe I'm a good person as well. No, maybe that's just what's wrong with our generation or people these days. Is because we don't have to make human contact a lot of the time. So when things like that happen, we'll just avoid it at all costs. Like you see videos of things happening to crazy people in the street, and people just walk by like nothing's happening because they're fucking crazy. Yeah. When was the last time you reckon you went to a dentist? A year and a half ago. A year ago. No, a year. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Probably like over a year ago. Yeah. I, Is that bad? No, I know that because I got a text message from my dentist the other day saying that I was due for my yearly checkup. I don't think I avoid anyone more than my dentist. Bless her soul. My, my dentist is this like cute little Asian lady and she's so lovely. I got a, I got an Asian man as my dentist. Really? Yeah. Maybe they're husband and wife. Maybe. I don't think we go anywhere near each other as dentists. But she's so lovely and every time she's like, you need to come back. Oh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> she's, she's like, you need to come back like sooner. She gets mad at me. She's like, you're not flossing. And I'm like, I know. I don't know if you can talk like that, Meg. I know. Just ignore that. Oh my God. I actually just thought of something. You know what literally the worst thing ever is that someone can do to you? Someone texts you, hey. I really got to tell you something. They don't text anything else. You see the message, you go, what? Like, what? Oh, yeah. What do you have to tell me? And then they take a whole business day to, to respond reply. to you. And then that whole business day, you're so, you're freaking out. You're tweaking genuinely. And you're, so, I'm so anxious on the edge of my seat. Like, what, what did I do? Like, what, what do they have to tell me? And then they get back to you and it's just like the most unimportant thing ever. That is the worst And it's just like, well, thanks for making me like waste Probably you probably took off a whole week of my life. Yeah. From all the hair that I, that fell out of my head. Yeah. It's it's like for nothing. I hate, I hate when people Oh my do god, that. people do that. Like there's at least three people I know that do that and I, I hate it. Am I one of those I people? No, you're not. You at least tell straight up. You know what though? When I'm on the phone to you and I go, Can I tell you something? 
And then I'm waiting for you to respond <laughs> because I need yeah. the words of affirmation. Hey, so guess what happened today? Yeah, and you I'm, wait for me to just go. I'm what? waiting. And it's for like you can just you can just tell me. I'm waiting for you to say, yeah, or like what, and you, you can never do. Me. And I'm just waiting there for like a minute, and then I end up telling you. Have you seen that stuff that's going on in New York? It's crazy. Where dudes will just be going up to random women. What are you doing with your face right now? Sorry, I just zoned. <laughs> You know when you just like lock in on something? I just like locked in on that Red Bull can over there. Have you seen that stuff in New York right now? It's going around where random dudes will go up and just like punch, punch a female <laughs> in the face. What would what would you do if a random guy, you're in New York, a random guy comes up and just gives you a right hook in the face? What can you do? Nothing. Yeah, America is just a place of unexpected madness like america you just america, never know america is like one book of like horrible histories literally <laughs> that's, that's america it's just like oh my gosh it's a horrible histories book on the topic of run clubs again i know we've already spoken about them but we came up with our own hypothetical run club and it's called inconvenient run club introducing the inconvenient run club where <laughs> we get at least 300 people and we don't start at like 5 a.m., the crack no. of dawn like that. No, 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 no. We start at 8.15 a.m. And we run through the busiest parts <laughs> of the city. The where most people inconvenient are, places. Yeah, where the people are doing all their morning commutes to get to work. <laughs> They're just getting off the ferry or the bus. And there's 300 people running through the middle of the footpath. Yeah. And they and they're like just, they just want to get to work. And they're like, oh my God, they're so overwhelmed. And we ruin their day. Yeah. Or we go to like the narrowest footpath. The narrowest footpath. On like paths. trails and stuff. And we just ambush it with people so that no one can get past walking their dogs and stuff. Yeah. And then there's one person with a huge JBL speaker in their backpack yeah. playing music. Playing only Australian rap. <laughs> yeah. Some cursor. That everyone fucking hates. Yeah. yeah. Playing playing like cursor. Yeah. Freestyle. The most chilling inconvenient it. places. And then... Best of all, when we're all finished and done, we'll go to one small like hole in the wall cafe with all 300 of us. Where one person is working. Where one or two people are working and we're going to all order iced lattes. Like yeah. strawberry matcha, everything. The most inconvenient orders. And just to the small hole in the wall cafe like beside the Burley Pav or something, you know. With only like three tables. Yep. With a collective of like seven seats. Mm -hmm. Yep. The Inconvenient Run Club. And yeah. it's going to be a non-for-profit organization. And the profit... But you said non-for-profit. No, but isn't non-for-profit when you make money, but it has to go back into the organization? No, no people who run non-for-profits are just really bad at business. So they just don't know how to make money. <laughs> well, that's it for today. I hope you guys like my new slick back hairstyle that I'm trying out for today's episode. <laughs> and thanks again, Meg, for coming on to Cowboy Confessions. Yeah. Ride that horse like a cowboy. Am I right? Sure. <laughs> okay, no, don't do that. That's really weird. Being serious, though, that's a, that was weird. <laughs>